the cut of your jib, young man. I'm very envious of you because you, at the age of 14, you knew that you wanted to go into the world of comedy. Yes, I started stand-up at 14. That's amazing. And my parents had to bring me to all my gigs <laughs> and they had to watch me on stage just ripping them to shreds. <laughs> just in the car on the way home, my dad was like, yeah, um... I reckon stick with accounting. I reckon that was a good option. And how old are you now? You're 16? Uh, <laughs> 17th birthday next week. No, I, uh, 22. 22. Just turned 22. So I'm not young anymore. I'm old. No, but your parents, wow. your parents still take you to the gigs. Is that right? Mildly offensive. Mildly offensive. My youth is beyond me. You're on this show, which is probably the pinnacle of your career so far. <laughs> um, you've got another job. You're on Triple J at the moment. Yes, I'm on Triple J. My radio career is a bit shaken at the moment because I was in Perth, and in Perth there's a three-hour difference over there. So, I mean, as I was driving home, I could still hear myself on the radio, oh. but I was at the traffic lights in Perth and literally the guy in the car right next to me was listening to Triple J. And then the song finished, I just start to hear my own voice being like, hey, it's Kieran here. And he just goes, oh, and just changed the channel. <laughs> Right in front of me. Well, Kieran, hopefully that man is not watching tonight because we do need the ratings and everyone counts. Yeah, uh, I've, never, I've never broken a bone in my life, so... Well, you don't have to break any bones. You just have to answer questions. <laughs> it's not that kind of game. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> All right, now, uh, any disputed answers will be referred to and verified by the living skull of Glen Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, Glen? Yeah, that's right, John. <laughs> now, your time and your questions start now. Which is more spreadable, the patella or the nutella? <laughs> the nutella. The, the nutella, that's quite right. You don't have to buzz in because these are all for you. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. It's just there's a big button there. It's so tempting to no, hit it. So you get a point, but if you press that button again, I'm going to take off seven <laughs> points. <laughs> all right. All right, here we go. The skeletal remains of which English monarch were discovered beneath a Leicester car park in 2012? Uh, that would be Rich the Third. Richard the Third is correct. That's I right. I need to get that. <laughs> uh, have you played Richard the Third? No, I, I haven't played. I studied some of his monologues and stuff. But no, never, no, I was, never I was talking to Kieran. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, Kieran, have you ever played I've Richard the Third? I've never played Richard really? the Third. Okay, well, no, what is it on place? I haven't played it either. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Andy? Yeah, I've done it. You don't? Oh, you have not. No, I haven't. <laughs> Robin McKayla? I have never done Richard III. Never done Richard no. III. I've done Hamlet, but not Richard III. Yeah. What, what about, I've done what... Richard Pot. No, I haven't. <laughs> 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 it was one time. It was, it was one time. time. We're not going to go. Not I said time. I wouldn't say that. This is Gen Z's turn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what console go. is it on, Sean, Richard III? Uh, I think it's the same one. I think it's compatible with Richard II. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A skull encrusted with more than uh, 8,000 diamonds is a work of art by British artist Damien Hirst and officially titled For the Love of A, Life, B, Diamonds, C, God, or D, Bindi Irwin. Gosh. Um, I'm, I'm going to cross out Bindi Irwin. Yeah, I think that's safe. What were the options of the first three? Was Life, Diamonds, or God? Really? I'd be tempted by God, because covering a, a skull in diamonds, that's pretty hardcore. So you'd be tempted by God. Uh... <laughs> Interesting. I would say love of God. Love of God. If it's yeah. a piece of art. Well, you're right. That's a oh. point for you. That's a point for you. <laughs> what percentage of Australian women over 70 have osteoporosis? Is it... <laughs> that, that escalated quickly. That <laughs> I'm going to give you some choices, though. OK, please. All do. right, because otherwise you're going through 100 options. 43%, 53% or 63%. So what was the age? So just women over 70. 43. Over 70. Is Robin over... Do you know the answer? Oh! oh that's the second time you've done that. Yeah. Andy, tonight. Yeah. No, that's not, Listen, that's not his the... well's running dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michaela, you're sitting next to Robin. Dash, dash. I'm going to check how brittle her bones are. Does she, does, she, does she have an osteoporotic hump? <laughs> I have never played Richard the Third. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to right. the questions. Well, is that 43%, 53%, or 63%? Oh, okay. We were going to say 43. Well, that's what you oh, should well, let's say. let's go that's with right. that, then. Yes. Oh. Too late for that oh, okay. now. <laughs> is this <laughs> white stuff? Does that go in the prawn cocktail? Is there okay. stuffing in this chicken? I don't know what it is, but it is going in. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put this on the <laughs> And you know what? I know there's an egg whisk. We can go here, and then we can place them afterwards. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I, I think I mixed up the potato right, salad. Right, I think right, I've combined okay. potato salad and prawn cocktail. I told you. I told you what's, what's in front of you is the custard. <laughs> no, this is a sponge cake. I think we just need this to do one. Jelly. Jelly. Just got jelly. We've got the bowls over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh, yes, please, a bit of wine. Thank you, Lawrence. Well, I think, hey, well, next time the lights come on, we've got to set okay. the tape, we've got Do to put what? things I out here. Made those <laughs> <things here. laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm pouring the wine. You think it's scary <laughs> and it's dark. <laughs> Okay, we have one more minute for us. <laughs> I tried so hard. <laughs> What's happening there? Is everybody all right? I think there's been some kind of fight going. <laughs> Something's happening. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, no, no one likes each other on MCAR. There's terrible fights. Kat, would you like? Would you like a? No, I'm around? not sitting Can down I take here. your coat? No, no, oh, you can't have <laughs> my coat. So you're going to wear it instead of yours. But what I'm concerned. Um, yes. Would you like to uh, the potatoes? I mean, the trifle. Dessert or... turned out great. Well, I reckon it does look pretty good. Yeah. Would you like a spoon? <laughs> I'll take the spoon, but I okay. won't eat anything okay. with it. <laughs>